Do you see this tonight and moving forward as being a real trailblazer for women in football? Yes, but it shouldn't be. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so it's, it's like the first that. and it's great, but I don't want to be the first, you know, and the only. Um, I think it's slightly disappointing that as the first female academy manager, I'm still really the only female academy manager. And if we want change to happen, we need more females in these positions throughout clubs. And if there's more uh, female coaches in youth football, I know Lydia Bedford's just um, got it at um, Bedford, the under 18s, then these opportunities will happen more and more. Um, because coaches get promoted from youth football um, so the more uh, female coaches we can get in the boys game throughout the academy systems then I think it will happen more naturally. Yeah. Hannah is being a, a trailblazer. Stay, stay, stay. Put your hands up please. Sorry. Go on. No, but it's not a free-for-all. <laughs> okay. Thanks Dave. <laughs> is being a trailblazer Hannah something that comes naturally to you? Um, personally, I'm not one for the limelight. <laughs> As I say, for me, I wanted the attention to be on the players, and I think that's my almost my biggest concern in a way is that this is, this isn't a gimmick. This isn't a, about this. This is about those players in that changing room, and this is about them getting the preparation that they need for that campaign. And I would like that nothing takes away from that because if it does, then it's probably the wrong thing to do to put me in this position in the first place because they're the priority and the team are the priority and this isn't a, as I say, a gimmick. Oh. This is <clears throat> because we need to do the best things for those footballers and our football club. It's a football decision that just happens to shock the world of football. Do you think that being, You're next. having this appointment here at Forest Green means that somebody like Emma Hayes may be more likely to get a job at a Premier League club? Emma Hayes is amazing and yes. she's doing an amazing job where she is and obviously playing in Champions League with international players and she'd be more than capable of stepping in into any position. Um, we just need more open-minded people to allow these opportunities to happen. Dale, can I ask how the decision came about to dispense with Duncan Ferguson's services? Please? You can ask but I'm going to say. <laughs> and then was it an easy decision to then move and uh, give, the, uh, give the role to Hannah? Yes it was, yeah. I've been saying it all day. Uh, it was a very simple decision and it was the most qualified person at the club for the job. Uh, nothing else came into the frame. Uh, we did know that it would be a first, uh, but that didn't matter. But I didn't know it would be such a big deal, honestly. You're next. What she got to do to get the job permanent? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I <laughs> do win, win the recruitment process. Right? I'm not running the process. Uh, there'll be hundreds of people applying for it. It'll be a proper thing. It'll probably take several weeks. Um, and, and if Hannah wants to put her name into the hat to say the right way around, um, she's very welcome. And um, and we know Hannah; she's been here with you know with us for four years. So you could argue she's got a bit of an inside track, but we'll see what happens, right? It'll be uh, a very thorough process, and uh, and hopefully we'll get a great person for the job. You've you've been very loyal to managers in the past, mm. um, but now you're looking for your third one in I think around a year. Is it? Sure. Mm. After, well, I know one of them left. I, I think it was three in the first ten years. Yeah, three, mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Three in ten years, but now three in. Yeah. Since Rob Edwards left, you've had the inverts and I've done the focus. What do you think's changed to, to make that happen? It was just circumstance. You know, Rob left. Um, <clears throat> we tried to change things up in January to save our season. That didn't work. We weren't far off the pace, really. You know, three points off, I think, the drop zone in January. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's how you learn, isn't it? It's how you learn. So three managers in ten years and then three in one year. Not the end of the world. <laughs> Next question, please, of you. Yeah, Hannah, congratulations on the appointment. In terms of the messages and the reaction to it, did you get any messages from anyone in particular? What did your family say and things like that? Because obviously you, you've tried to play it down, but there, <clears> this is a big appointment in, in football. Yeah, so uh, as I say, yesterday was quite a stressful day. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, but I went home, I was sleeping, and then suddenly my phone started pinging. I was like, well, what's going on here? Um, with all the messages coming in, and it's been, you know, um, you know, I'm really grateful for the support that I've had from, obviously, friends and family, but also um, people, you know, from the football world. Obviously, Rob Edwards has um, reached out, because obviously we worked with him when he was here. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it, it's been really nice to get the level of support that I've had. Nice. And you've been at... Another one. No, fine. One more, sorry. <laughs> um, and you've been at the club for a few years. I've spoken to you at the club before. And what is it that is so special about it? And, and why is it a club like Forest Green that decides to make this trailblazing decision? Well, I think it's... So, obviously, you know, it's very well documented. Our 
views and well, Dale's views. I'm going to speak for you here. Sorry. No, do it. On sustainability, <laughs> etc. And oh, that's obviously important. But for me, it's bigger than that. It's about values, a values-driven organisation, about say doing the right thing and treating people properly and allowing people to be themselves. Um, I think any of you who've ever been to Forest Green or ever been into the club will know that there's no expert, you don't have to dress a certain way or act a certain way or behave a certain way or be a certain way to feel welcome um, that's brilliant. in that environment and I think <clears throat> that's the difference, I think it's, it's just an environment that encourages people to be themselves and that's the way that you're going to get the best out of people. And just finally, a one. word <laughs> three. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, three is true. Sorry. Um, just finally, as well, you know, I've, I've spoken to fans today. They're incredibly supportive of you. But your number one supporter was there when I spoke to him earlier. A word on him, and then also just a word finally on. Oh, it's time to embarrass him. No, as I said, I think it's that <clears throat> to be able to create that culture in a, a football club and to be a brave enough to do it differently. Um, as I say, we've all been to different clubs, and I would say. I don't always feel that comfortable walking into boardrooms at certain clubs, I'm not going to name them, but because just of the environment that's created, it's a little bit more formal, stuffy, potentially, if I, I dare say fair. it, and yeah, different, and I think you come to our club and it's different, and I think that's down to Dale and his, you know, his values, but the way that he wants people to feel when they walk into the football club. I think that's fair. You know, I've been there as well, I still am there. Boardrooms in football clubs can be really stuffy, uncomfortable places, not least with the dress code, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but what was the question? Just a word on Hannah. Oh, you know, I, I, think I've, I think I've been saying it all day. Hannah, uh, I've known Hannah for four years. She got the, the job to lead our academy on merit. I think she's done a great job. At what she just said about the club is perfect, uh, describing her her view of how we are as a club is a perfect description of who we are as a club. So when I said earlier that Hannah got our values completely as a club, she just proved it to me. And I just want to say this, I keep having these moments of feeling I'm in like an episode of Ted Lasso. <laughs> 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 um, did you have any hesitation in, in stepping up when, when Dale asked you? Uh, not at all. Um, you know, again, I've grown and developed my time at the football club um, and it was an opportunity that I felt I was ready to take um, and again I've spoken to you know to Dale and um, about that um, and obviously when this opportunity came up he was fully aware of where I felt you know I might be able to step in at that point um, so yeah felt ready to go and do it. And um, what about tonight's game, what, what, what are your thoughts about tonight's game and your team's performance? Um, I think it was it's it's, frust it's difficult. <laughs> uh, first game, obviously pre season two forty fives, a lot of trialists, a lot of young players. Um, but I was really pleased to see it with certain players, and I think the way that they've um, taken to the new um, to the changes, I suppose, if you're going to put it that way. Um, I think you're starting to see, particularly in the first half, some real sort of roots of those combination plays in midfield. You know, things that didn't quite come off. From it, excuses, the grass a little bit long, etc, etc, but you see in those little bits, and we haven't done any, well I haven't done any training with them, so um, I was really pleased that just off, obviously the, 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 the conversations we had pre-game, that they've gone and put some of those performances on like that. Everybody at the back want to ask a question? So, yes. Hannah, I know you didn't necessarily want to be the first or, or a trailblazer as such, but how surreal is it when people sort of queued up for autographs and photos and stuff at the end there? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. And do you know what's nice with that though? The obviously the young the young people are waiting for things to be signed, etc. And how many girls there are down there? Um, you know, and that's again, we want to diversify the crowd at Forest Green, encourage more women and girls to come and watch the men's team and the women's team. Um, so actually, you know, seeing so many young girls there, Melksham fans or Melksham playing for Melksham by the looks of it in their tracksuit tops, fantastic. Um, because hopefully they're more inspiring. Um, young girls, whether it's in football or in any industry, that, you know, that there aren't these glass ceilings, and if they are, you just got to break through them.